Alright, what's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again, and welcome to part 2 of my 2020 DVD collection, which in this video I will be showing you the remaining three shelves of my DVD collection. And when I'm done this part of my DVD collection, yes I do still have my miscellaneous DVDs, but that will be for another video. But for right now, I'm just going to show you, like, all the remaining, like, movies I have. Because in my miscellaneous collection, it's mostly just, like, double feature sets. Um, some quadruple feature sets. There's, do like, documentaries in there. But that'll be for another video for another time. But for right now, I'll just be showcasing the rest of my movies here. And I do still have some L's to show you guys. I did end off, like, with some, like, L movies. But now I have the rest of those to show. So we'll be going from L to Z, basically. So let's start with the stuff on top first, as we usually do, because I did that with part one. So the first thing I have up here is the Pearl Harbor, the director's cut. It's four discs, as you guys can see right there. I believe the movie is on two discs, and then the other two discs are special features. So it's a really awesome set. If you do like the movie, well, I don't really know anybody that actually really loves that movie. But, um, yeah, it's part of the Vista series release. I do have a few of those in my collection as well. You will be seeing those a little bit uh, shortly, I guess. And then next to it, I have the Reservoir Dogs uh, Jerry Can set. That's an awesome movie. It was formerly my favorite Tarantino movie. Just because, like, there's not really too much that goes on. It's, it is mostly, like, dialogue and everything. But it's just really effective because you do get some really great acting in it. And really great writing. It was my favorite Tarantino movie before it was surpassed by Inglorious Bastards. That is my favorite Tarantino. And then next to it is another movie that Tarantino had some involvement with is uh, Sin City. That is the recut and extended two disc set there. And what's cool about that one is it actually comes with like the graphic novel of Sin City. Well at least I think like one part of it. But it's a really awesome set for a really awesome movie. I really do like that one. I still haven't seen A Dame to Kill for yet. I should probably watch that one here soon. Next to that, I have the Saving Private Ryan D-Day 60th Anniversary Commemorative Edition. It's like kind of like a bullet kind of casing uh, set. It's two discs. Really awesome movie as well. And then there you go. There's another Vista series release there with the Sixth Sense. It is kind of like a shiny one. Uh, probably one of my favorite movies. I love that movie so much. It's just awesome. And unfortunately, M. Night Shyamalan's only, like, really awesome movie before he kind of started going downhill. Well, I guess Unbreakable is kind of cool as well. Then I have the director's cut of Hellboy. That is three discs right there. So you get the movie on one disc, and then you get special features on the other two discs. And uh, that's a really awesome set as well. Once again, I do have some Blu-ray sets up here. Unfortunately, you know, I'm not going to be showing those in my Blu-ray collection. I have the Apocalypse Now Full Disclosure set, which I actually did do an unboxing on a little while ago, but I found at the pawn shop they actually had, like, the one that's supposed to be in, like, the case and everything. So I'm really happy I found that. So I'm going to have to be careful because I don't want it to, like, fall in between those shelves there. But, yeah, there's that. Then next to that, I have the Wizard of Oz, I think, three-disc collector set. It's got a lot of stuff in it, three discs, and yeah, it's a really cool set right there. I actually have that, plus I have the 3D box set up there that has a whole bunch of stuff in it as well. Uh, and, then I, and then next to that, I have actually probably maybe one of three Criterions I have in my collection, and that is The Last Emperor. Got that a really long time ago. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, that has, I think, three different versions of the movie on there. That's kind of like Steven Spielberg's kind of first little dabble into, like, making multiple versions of movies. So there's that. Then I have the Thing Collector's Edition. I told you in part one that I would show you guys that as well. And then on this other shelf here, I have the Kingdom of Heaven four-disc director's cut. So once again, one of my, uh, one of my other four-disc collector's editions in my collection here. Then I have the Total Recall Mars 10 edition. That's really cool. I've had that in my collection for a little while and now. Then I have the Ten Commandments, the 50th anniversary collection, which has both the 1953 movie, I believe, plus like the 1923 versions, so like the silent one. So that's a really cool set. It's also in like a see-through kind of case. And then I have uh, Basic Instinct, the special edition, the unrated director's cuts with the clear case and the ice pick pen. 
I don't think that pen works anymore, but it's still in there. And then lastly to show for on top here is the Karate Kid collection. So that's all four movies. Well, obviously besides the remake with um, Jaden Smith and Jackie Chan, that one is not included, but that is the first four, you know, the ones with Pat, Pat Morita in there. And of course, Ralph Macchio is in those three and then you get Cobra Kai as well. So yeah, really awesome additions that I have on top here. So I'm just going to pause it so we can go down to the actual shelves now. Okay, so I have paused it for a moment here just to basically get that last little segment uploaded onto my computer. So now let's start off with the first shelf of stuff here. So of course, once again, it is five shelves full of movies here. So I'll go through once again all my little trinkets that I have on the shelf here first. Once again, it is super dusty. You guys can see a big, huge layer of dust there. I haven't dusted these shelves in a long time. But uh, first first thing I have, actually the first couple things, are pairs of 3D glasses. I just think these are really cool. I can't really remember which ones I, you know, use these for. One of them I know was for Endgame, I believe, and I think another one might have been for uh, Ready Player One. But I usually grab a lot of these 3D glasses when I see something that's actually in 3D. They're... Hasn't really been too much 3D movies I've seen recently. The last one I saw was The Rise of Skywalker in 3D. And like before that, I can't really remember. I think maybe Far From Home. But there are the first pair of 3D glasses. So that's an open pair. And then I have an unopened pair right here that's actually still in the packaging. So, um, you know, that's really cool. So I'll just bring these down here. So now I'll get started with all of this stuff here. So, first movie I have to show you guys for this video is The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. So, I haven't seen that one yet, but it's actually in, like, this really cool, like, silver case. So, that's pretty cool. It's uh, from the director of Blade. I still haven't seen that movie yet. I got that, like, a really super long time ago. And then I have the four Lethal Weapon movies. So, we have Lethal Weapon 1, Lethal Weapon 2... Lethal Weapon 3, the first one with, or no, I think Joe Pesci was in number 2. Lethal Weapon 3, and then I have Lethal Weapon 4 here. They only made four of those. I heard they're actually doing a fifth one, so I don't know how well that's going to work out because Mel Gibson and Danny Glover are, like, super old now, so, yeah, I don't know. The first three are actually the director's cuts of them, so uh, the first one here uh, runs 117 minutes. And number two here runs 118 minutes, so that one is a minute longer. And then number three is 121 minutes. And then Lethal Weapon 4, they never made a director's cut for. So I have all three, I guess, definitive versions of those movies. And uh, yeah, I, I haven't seen the other Lethal Weapons, I've just seen the first one. I should probably get around to watching the other four. So there is that. And then I have The Longest Yard here with Burt Reynolds, this being the original 1974 version, the Lockdown Edition, as they call it. Liar, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Liar Liar. Then I have Little Giants here, this one I believe is rare and out of print, I can't really remember. License to Kill, one of the only two Timothy Dalton James Bonds, the other one he did was The Living Daylights, which I think you guys will see coming up here. Actually, there's still a lot of L's I have to show you guys. And then I have the special edition of The Last Waltz. Basically, I think it's like the historic 1976 farewell performance of the band. Rick Danko, LaVon Helm, Garth Hudson, Richard Manuel, and Robbie Robertson. And it's directed by Martin Scorsese as well. So that's pretty cool. I think there's inside here. I think there's supposed to be like a booklet, but I don't have the booklet. I just got it you know, like this. Then I have Little Monsters with uh, Fred Savage and Howie Mandel himself, you know, deal or no deal, but this one is out of print. I got that one a little while ago. Lost in America, which is actually a really underrated movie directed by Albert Brooks here. Really underrated. Just them kind of going on this, like, cross-country trip around the States. It's, it's a really... I don't, like... I don't know if I would consider it like a feel-good movie. I think it was more kind of like a drama, but it is a really underrated movie. I highly recommend checking that out if you haven't seen it yet, or if you're a fan of Albert Brooks. Then I have Little Shop of Horrors. I can't really remember if this is the one that's out of print. 
I don't think it is. I think this is the reprinted version because there is a DVD that exists of this one that has the original ending in black and white, but they took it off for some reason. I can't really remember, but and they reissued it without the ending, so there's a little bit of trivia for you guys. Then I have the Lady Killers here with Tom Hanks. This is the Coen Brothers version. Two-disc special edition of The Lost Boys. The Last Samurai. And then here's the other one I was talking about with these Cinema Classics collection. I think this is what it is. It's The Lost World here. It includes both versions of the movie. So it includes the 1961 and it includes the 1925 black and white silent version. So I'm really happy to have that in my collection. That's cool. I know I'm saying everything is cool. I know, I know. Then I have Monty Python's Life of Brian, the Immaculate Edition. I think there's a criterion of that, actually. Logan's Run. Then I have the Super Bit of Lawrence of Arabia. I do have quite a few of these Super Bit ones. Then I have uh, Las Vegas here. The Legend of Drunken Master. So this is the second Drunken Master movie starring Jackie Chan, of course. The Last Castle. L.A. Confidential, uh, The Long Kiss Goodnight, it's like a really bad cover, like why are their faces like really stretched, I don't know. Then I have the Platinum Edition of The Little Mermaid, one of the few Disney ones that has the slipcover still. Then I have Labyrinth, a Little Miss Sunshine, Leap of Faith, which is also out of print, it's a pretty good movie as well. Uh, then we have The Lawnmower Man, The Last of the Mohicans, the Director's Expanded Edition. And then I have La Bamba, probably one of my favorite movies of all time. I love that movie so much. Probably my favorite biopic as well. It's it's short, it's to the point, it's interesting, and you know, it's it's kind of got some like fun parts in it as well, but you know, it's a really good movie. Then I have Love Story, The Last Exorcism. Like Father, Like Son, you will be seeing the other one here soon, Vice Versa, which is kind of a similar movie. And I have the Ultimate Edition of Legend. This one, unfortunately, is in worse shape than the American Pie one that I have. It's kind of like yellowing on the side, as you guys can see right there. But I'm still happy to have at least a couple of these in my collection. But this one, unlike the American Pie one, it should have included both versions of the movie, like theatrical on one disc and then unrated on the other. Instead, it just includes a widescreen and a full screen version which is really stupid. This one actually includes both the director's cut and the theatrical version. So as you guys can see right there, it's an hour and 54 minutes for the director's cut and then an hour and a half for the theatrical version. So they cut out like almost half an hour from the movie. And then I won't pull these ones out because it'll be a little bit more complicated, but I got Lean On Me, Legend of the Black Scorpion, which is number 24 for the Dragon Dynasty ones. Lights Out, Love Actually, really love that movie. Lights Out was not too bad. Lady Hawk, Lost in Translation, La Femme Nikita. This one you never see anywhere, La Femme Nikita. So I was really happy to grab that one when I saw it. Super Bit of Legends of the Fall, one of the few that I got with the Super Bit ones that actually still has the slipcover and everything. The Last Stand, Legally Blonde, Legally Blonde 2, Red, White, and Blonde. Life or Something Like It, The Last Boy Scout, a really underrated Tony Scott movie. Live and Let Die, and I'll just put this stuff back up here. And I'll go down here and I may as well show this, uh, these two shelves here. I'm probably going to go two shelves at a time. But I got, for these trinkets here, I have this little promotional piece here. It's Continental Key. But it was when John Wick came out last year, John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum. That was when that came out last year. I got this for free at a comic shop. So I'll just put that down there. And then I have a Leonidas action figure here from 300 that looks nothing like Gerard Butler. But it's still a pretty cool looking figure anyways. It's actually got a really... That's actually a really well done uh, cape sculpt there. It's really cool. It's made out of like rubber and that. But he's got no sword unfortunately. It kept breaking off so I just kind of tossed it. So now we will continue on to the stuff here. We have The Living Daylights, there is the other Timothy Dalton James Bond. I was surprised he didn't do any more of those because I really like License to Kill. Look Who's Talking, I do not have Look Who's Talking 2 or Look Who's... What was the other one called again? Look Who's Talking Again or something like that. 
Then I have Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, the Locked and Loaded Unrated Director's Cut. It's a super long title for that. Lucas, Lord of the Flies. This is the 1990 version. Then I have Mean Machine. This one probably goes under the radar a lot. But uh, it's got Vinnie Jones. You know, you got Jason Statham in there as well. I think it's about, like, soccer. The Mask. I think, actually, Jim Carrey is coming back as The Mask in Space Jam 2. So that'd be a pretty neat little appearance there if, you know, the rumors are to be believed. But, yeah, I really love The Mask. Probably really funny movie. I really enjoy that one. Malcolm X, the two-disc special edition. Mission Impossible, the special collector's edition that has a whole bunch of uh, bonus features in there. First one's a pretty good movie. Mission Impossible 2 or MI2. John Woo directed this one. This one was, surprisingly enough, not really that great. Then Mission Impossible 3, which was really good. This is actually J.J. Abrams' first movie that he directed. I do have Ghost Protocol and Ghost Protocol, Rogue Nation, and Fallout. I do have on Blu-ray. So I'll be showing those once I get around to my Blu-rays. And Rogue Nation, I think I'll get around to showing in my Steelbook collection. Then I have Maverick. Mars Attacks, My Boyfriend's Back, My Blue Heaven, Mannequin, I do not have Mannequin 2, Marked for Death, Metro, The Man in the Iron Mask, the one with DiCaprio in it, Jeremy Irons, John Malkovich. Then I have Midnight Express, the 30th Anniversary Edition, which has like this big huge slipcover plus a little booklet in there. Then I have both versions of The Manchurian Candidate. I have the original Frank Sinatra version, plus the 2004, yeah, 2004 remake with Denzel in Meryl Streep. Another Denzel movie here, we have Man on Fire, the All Access Collector's Edition, number 18. The Man with the Golden Gun, Munich. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, the unrated version that has, I guess, a good amount of bonus features on there. This one is Collector's Edition number 27. The Mask of Zorro, Mallrats. This one is the 10th Anniversary Extended Edition, which has both versions of the movie on there. So you have the original theatrical one that's an hour and 36 minutes, and then you have the extended one that's two hours. Then I have... <clears throat> I have Meet the Parents, Meet the Fockers. I don't have Little Fockers, though, because I know everybody hates that one, and I never see that one anywhere either. Memento, this is actually a pretty cool little release here. It's the one that has, like, those really complicated menu systems on there. But it's got two versions of the movie on here. You can watch it as it was originally intended and released in theaters, I guess you could say. Plus, there's also a way to watch the movie in chronological order. I don't know exactly, like, how you do that. But there are probably some, you know, some tutorials online on how to, like, traverse this menu system. But, yeah, it's really, really neat of this release to, you know, give you that option to watch in chronological order. So maybe it won't be as confusing or anything. Then I have Memphis Bell. I also have the Ultimate Edition of The Mummy. But, unfortunately, it's not in, like, the plastic case. It wasn't even released like that anyways. But it's got a whole bunch of bonus features on here, plus a DTS track, so that's why I got that one. Plus it's in full screen, too. My original Mummy DVD did not have full screen on it. Then I have The Mummy Returns, you know, the one with the really awful looking uh, The Rock as Scorpion King. I don't have The Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. I used to have Scorpion King, but I didn't like that movie, so I got rid of it. And I do have the Tom Cruise Mummy on Blu-ray. Memoirs of a Geisha, Matchstick Men, Minority Report, Mr. Destiny, which has a really bad-looking painting on the front there. Magnum Force, of course, you got to have some Clint Eastwood, Dirty Harry in your collection. The Mechanic, I did show Mechanic Resurrection in Part 1. The Mean Season, My Science Project, Monster, Mulan, the Special Edition, which is, which is two discs in there, as you guys can see. Unfortunately, no slipcover on this one either. Mississippi Burning, Mirrors Unrated, so I don't think that one has, oh no, it has both versions on there, never mind. I really like how when studios do that, they put both versions of the movie, I think I said that in part one anyways. Music and Lyrics, The Mighty Ducks, I do not have D2 or D3 yet, and Million Dollar Arm, and actually speaking of The Mighty Ducks, I think Emilio is coming back 
for a Disney Plus series on that, so I guess that's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever actually seen the Mighty Ducks, so there's that. I should probably get around to watching it. But those are the first two shelves of part two here, so I'll just pause and go upload this, and I'll get back to you in a little bit with the next two shelves, and probably the next three, actually. Okay, so now let's do the last three shelves of one of three shelves here. So the things I have on display here, I have a couple digi books on here. So the one that I have is the Blu-ray disc steelbook of A River Runs Through It, of course, starring uh, Brad Pitt and Tom Skerritt. It's a really nice looking digi book, actually. Probably one of my favorite ones. It just really like at the back here kind of like has a couple of like old fly fishing advertising. And it's just a really nice looking digi book here and then of course you just have the one disc at the very end of the book so we'll just put this up here and then another one i have is the dirty harry steel or not steel book digi book here and i think this one's not too bad as well i haven't really looked at it it's definitely longer than the a river runs through it one you do have a couple of like little notes in that and just talking about all the different characters and there's a poster dirty harry 1971 so that's pretty cool as well so now we'll go down here and i'll show you guys what i have for this shelf so i've got money for nothing here which is i think a more underrated movie i've never actually seen it but it's definitely one that i don't really see too often look at that that's really cool <laughs> really trippy but yeah, this one is complete and everything, and I think it actually is a biography. It's based on a true story, and it stars John Cusack. It's definitely one that flew under the radar, but one that you never really see too often as well. Then I have uh, Misery. This is going to get a lot harder. And then I have, there we go, Miracle. Then I have Mortal Kombat. This was actually the good one, not the other one. That's Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Just uh, this one is complete and everything. Unfortunately, they did cut out the UPC. I think I got this one at like a pawn shop in the States or something like a long time ago. Men in Black 2. I got rid of my double feature set with Men in Black 1 because I wanted to get like the super like deluxe edition or whatever. But I can never find that anywhere. Then I have Maximum Overdrive. This is the Trinity Home Entertainment release. Unfortunately, I did not have the Anchor Bay one, but it's a pretty fun movie for what it is. I know a lot of people hate it, but it's a guilty pleasure. Then I have uh, Mary Poppins, the 40th anniversary edition that has the slipcover opens up here. Super Califragilisticexpialidocious. And it's got a whole bunch of bonus features on there as well. And then I have My Stepmother is an Alien. Moonstruck, the Deluxe Edition, Mean Girls, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, I do have the Road Warrior, it's probably in with the R's, and I do have the first one on Blu-ray, as well as Fury Road, so I'll show those when I do my Blu-ray collection. The Man Without a Face, Mickey Blue Eyes, Murder at 1600, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein with Robert De Niro, then I have Million Dollar Baby. Monty Python's The Meaning of Life, the two-disc special edition that has a whole bunch of bonus features, as you guys can see right there, as well as some DVD-ROM features. Mobsters. The Man with Two Brains. Meatballs. I don't have any of the other ones. Uh, Mercury Rising. Me, Myself, and Irene. Let's do that here. Men of Honor. Mr. Saturday Night, which I believe it might be... Um, out of print. Can't really remember. Miracle on 34th Street. This is the original 40s version. I do not have the 90s one. Men with Brooms. Murder in the First. My Soul to Take, which I think had like a 3D conversion for some odd reason. Mystic River, which is the three disc deluxe edition. So you get the movie on one disc, you get special features on the other disc, and you actually get the CD soundtrack on the other discs, so you have a whole bunch of, like, making of documentaries and everything. I think I got that brand new, actually. Then I have The Matrix Reloaded, The Matrix Revolutions, I have The Matrix 
Digibook on Blu-ray. I'll get to that soon. My Fellow Americans. Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, which is a Clint Eastwood directed movie. Money Train. The Mist, which is the two disc collector's edition that has a really nice slipcover. And what's cool about this little release here is I think on disc two, or disc one has the original movie, but disc two you can actually watch the movie in black and white, which is how Frank Darabont intended it to be. So I really like how they included that in there. I have another one of these Jet Li Dimension releases. I have Jet Li's The Master. Then I have Mrs. Doubtfire, the Behind the Scenes edition, which I think has a pretty good amount of special features on there. My Bloody Valentine, this is the original 1981 version. I do have the 2009 version on Blu-ray. My Cousin Vinny, Mystery Alaska, The Mosquito Coast, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2, which is another library release. Money Talks, North Shore, Needful Things, Nightcrawler, which is an awesome movie. Highly recommend watching that one if you have not. Really like kind of freaky movie. Nashville, and then finally Not Without My Daughter, which I believe is out of print as well. So now if I go down below here. So now I will show you guys the last two shelves. And then we will have one shelf down and two more to go. So on the shelf here I have Next Friday. So, see, I told you I would show that one. I'll just take this off so I can show these a little bit better. Never Say Never Again, which if you guys find a copy of this one, do pick it up because it is worth a little bit of money. This is an unofficial Bond movie. And, um, you know, like you can tell Sean Connery is getting pretty old in this one. But yeah, if you guys see this one anywhere, I definitely recommend picking it up because it is worth money. And especially if you can find it with a booklet and everything inside, then yeah, definitely pick this one up if you can find it somewhere. Then I have Next of Kin, New Jack City, the two-disc special edition, Nighthawks. Then I have The Naked Gun or The Naked Gun from the Files of Police Squad. Probably one of my favorite comedies. I just, I love these kind of like dumb dumb like parody movies they just have like the dumbest things that i laugh at the naked gun two and a half the smell of fear naked gun 33 and a third the final insult so i wonder where the other you know uh 32 and two-third movies were then i have navy seals no escape which is a really underrated movie i definitely recommend watching that one robert redford or <laughs> Uh, Robert Redford in The Natural, sorry about that. Night Shift, which I believe was Michael Keaton's first movie. And, uh, Henry Winkler's in there, The Fonz. Now and Then. The Name of the Rose, which if you can get this brand new factory seal, then pick it up because it is worth money. Napoleon Dynamite, like the best special edition ever. So it's a really kind of cool lenticular cover, really kind of funny as well. See, you can you can see him dancing. No, okay, whatever. And it's got a whole bunch of special features on here as well. You do get like an original short film, and you know, like this is either this is a movie that you either love or hate. And you know, I like this one for what it is. Then I have the special edition of The Nightmare Before Christmas. No, Tim Burton did not do this movie. Henry Selleck did. He just produced it. Need for Speed, which was a pretty entertaining movie. I like this one a lot. Just a really kind of like brainless, racing, kind of Fast and the Furious-esque movie. But I found it to be really entertaining and I think it's worth a watch. It's definitely not for everybody. If you don't like these kind of stupid brainless movies, then I do not recommend watching it. But, you know, it was fun for what it was. Then I have The uh, Neighbors with the slipcover still. A Night at the Roxbury. National Lampoon's Vacation. National Lampoon's European Vacation, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I do have Vegas Vacation. That one is that one will be coming in a little bit here. Night of the Living Dead. This is the Millennium Edition from Elite Entertainment. It's like THX certified and everything. And then I have Night of the Living Dead, the 1990 version, directed by Tom Savini. The Nighty Professor, the Jerry Lewis one from 1963. And then I have the Eddie Murphy 1996 Nighty Professor, No Way Out, 
The number 23 unrated, one of Jim Carrey's forays into dramatic acting, and I think this is more kind of like a horror movie. And it's got a pretty neat looking slipcover there. It's kind of torn out so you can see just Jim Carrey's eyes. Nothing in common. Then we start getting into the Nightmare on Elm Street movie. So we have a Nightmare on Elm Street. This is the the uh, Infinite Film release. So it's got a whole bunch of like special features and everything on there. Then I have Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors, which is probably my favorite Nightmare movie. Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. 5, The Dream Child. Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. And then New Nightmare, which is the only one that I have not seen yet. Then I have Nixon, the Election Year Edition, starring Anthony Hopkins. It's a two-disc set as well. Nobody's Fool. The Negotiator. Necessary Roughness. The Neverending Story. North by Northwest. The Others, which has another one of those one-inch thick cases. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Out of Time. Once Upon a Time in the West. Old Yeller, which is the part of the Vault Disney Collection. And then Opportunity Knocks, so I'll just go ahead and put next Friday back where it was. And now we will go down here. So I don't really think there's too much to show for this part here, so I might just kind of point everything out. So I've got Oni Mahoney, Out to Sea, One Crazy Summer, Overboard, Oh Brother Where Art Thou, The One, which is a super bit release. The Outlaw Josie Wales on Deadly Ground Outbreak, which is probably probably a uh, movie to watch right now with everything going on. Like I know Contagion is super popular. I don't know. I never really cared for Contagion, but Outbreak is more kind of like faster paced. Like I enjoy this movie. I know some people don't, but I kind of did. Then I have Once Upon a Time in Mexico, which is another one of these I have with the super bit slipcover on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Operation Condor, which I think is like Armor of God 2 or something like that. So it's really odd and they market or they marketed it as Operation Condor, but technically it's like the second one out of the series. The Odd Couple, I do not have The Odd Couple 2. Out for Justice, One Hour Photo, The Outsiders, The Omega Man, Philadelphia, which is the Anniversary Edition. That's got a whole bunch of bonus features on there. I got two versions of Payback. I have the original theatrical version right here. And then I have the straight up the director's cut, which is like I think 10 minutes shorter. Which is kind of odd because I've never seen a director's cut go shorter than the theatrical version of the movie. Then I have Pale Rider, Paint Your Wagon, Paradise Hawaiian Style, The Power of One. I have the first three parts of the Caribbean movies of Chris of the Black Pearl, Dead Man's Chest, and At World's End which I have in the two disc limited edition set. I do want to get the limited edition for the second one as well, but I never see that one anywhere. Pan's Labyrinth, The Package, Passenger 57, The Peacemaker, The Patriot, A Perfect Getaway, which is a really underrated movie. I don't see a lot of people talking about that one. The Program, A Perfect World, Point of No Return. Then I have the Punisher movies, if I can get the first one out here. It's like this little kind of thin case. It's the extended cut of the movie, and it runs like two and a half hours long. You do get like a few bonus features on here. This is the one with John Travolta, by the way. And um, yeah, like this one's a real pain to try and get back in, especially when it has a when it especially has a snapper case right beside it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I have Punisher War Zone, the two disc special edition which has a digital copy included in it. Those are just kind of dumb, fun movies. I like those ones. Prisoners, Phone Booth, Pure Country, The People Under the Stairs, Patriot Games, The Proposal, which I believe is the, yeah, the digital copy edition of that one. Parenthood, The Pink Panther, The Pink Panther Strikes Again, Primal Fear, The Hard Evidence Edition, which comes in like a clear case. The Perfect Storm, and finally the Phantom of the Opera, which is the, the 80s one with Robert England in it, which is like a horror movie. So that concludes the first shelf here, so now I will go on to this shelf. Okay, now let's start with the second shelf now. So the first couple things that you see here are a couple of action figures. So I have a Hulk one. It's not really that great looking. It's, you know, look, look at that face. 
yeah, I don't know. I don't really care for that figure. And then we have a Thanos one. This is just like one of those cheapy like ones you can get at Walmart. I just really like this one. It's his appearance in Endgame, so I just thought I'd just put it here because I don't know. It looks maybe looks or makes the shelf look a little bit more presentable, I guess. So now let's go on and show the movies now. So I have, so we start off here with Phantom of the Opera again, and this is the Gerard Butler version from 2004, 2005, or something like that. It's the two-disc special widescreen edition, and I have Police Academy, the two, uh, 20th anniversary special edition. And then I have Play It to the Bone, starring Woody Harrelson and Antonio Banderas. Then I have Pay It Forward, uh, Platoon, the special edition. The Professionals, Paths of Glory, one of Stanley Kubrick's first movies. Then I have Planet Terror, the extended and unrated version. I do have Death Proof on uh, Steelbook, so I'll be showing that when I do my Steelbook collection. I still want to get like the actual like Grindhouse Blu-ray because that'd be like just like to see it as it was originally intended. Then I have Pump Up the Volume. Uh, Pink Cadillac, this is just part of like the Clint Eastwood collection. Then I have Patton, Pootie Tang, Poseidon, The Princess Bride, the special edition which has a whole bunch of bonus features on there. Then I have Pee Wee's Big Adventure, Prefontaine, Pretty in Pink, the Everything's Ducky edition which has new featurettes and everything. If I can get it back in here. Then I have The Prestige, The Pianist, Passchendaele, Peter Pan Platinum Edition, Powder Blue, which was one of Patrick Swayze's last movies, Phenomena from Dario Argento, this is an Anchor Bay release. Then I have Purple Rain, which was not wasn't necessarily the greatest movie, but probably one of the best soundtracks, if not the best soundtrack out of any, you know, movie I've listened or watched. The Producers, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time with Jake Gyllenhaal, which is a pretty good movie as well. Psycho, part of the Alfred Hitchcock collection. Then I have Psycho 2, Psycho 3, I don't have Psycho 4, Pacific Heights, uh, Planet of the Apes. I just have the original one, and then I have the Tim Burton version from 2001. Uh, Predator Collector's Edition, number 15. Then I have Predator 2, the special edition, which has two discs in it. Oh, my arm is getting tired here. Poltergeist, Pitch Black, which is the unrated director's cut version. Punchline, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Point Break, The Postman. Quiz Show, The Queen, The Quick and the Dead, Quigley Down Under, Quantum of Solace, Quest for Fire, Raging Bull, which I actually got at the church sale. This is the special edition, which has two discs in it. There's also like a really thick case too. Rat Race, and then we have Raising Arizona. And now if we go down here, I'll do this shelf, and then we will go to those three right there. So I have another pair of 3D glasses here. Nothing special, I showed you guys that already. And then we have the Matrix Blu-ray Digibook. And this is a really nice looking Digibook, guys. This is really cool. It's like shiny and everything and just like a really great movie as well. And it's also a pretty long little book here as well. So I'll just kind of flip through it if you guys can see. A lot of like kind of discussion and talking about all the, you know, actors and everything. And then you have the disc right there. And now if we go down here, I have Real Genius, the worst looking cover art, or probably one of the worst looking covers I've ever seen for a movie. That is horrible. Like that. Why does is, why is Val Kilmer even look like that? Like, very airbrushed. And then we have Rebel Without a Cause, the two disc special edition. Ransom, the special edition. Revolutionary Road. Rear Window, once again part of the Alfred Hitchcock collection. Red Heat, the special edition. Raw Deal, once again one of these Trinity Home Entertainment titles. 
Robocop 2, I do have the first Robocop on Steelbook, so I'll show that in my Steelbook collection. I do not have Robocop 3, and I have the remake on Blu-ray. The Replacement Killers, which is not too bad of a movie. Resident Evil, the special edition, which has, I guess, some special features in there. And I just have the standard DVDs of the other ones. I have Resident Evil Apocalypse here, which has that really cool looking clear slip cover. And then I have Resident Evil Extinction. I don't have the other ones yet because I do know there's like 3D Blu-rays of the other ones. Then I have Risky Business. The Rundown, which is a really good movie. Then we have Ray. Road to Perdition in one of these Academy Awards slipcovers. It won for Best Cinematography. Romantic Comedy. The Running Man, which the slipcover is not really in that great of shape. Also a pretty good movie as well, Richard Dawson in there. Romancing the Stone, the special edition. The Ref with, um, what's his name? Dennis Leary has really, like, super long leg. Like, compare it to, like, how long this leg is. And compare it to, like, that leg. It looks super weird. Then I have the Rocky Horror Picture Show, 25 Years of Absolute Pleasure. So, obviously, this is some sort of 25th anniversary release that has, like... It's in the, like this really weird feeling box. I don't know. And then I have the Return of the Pink Panther, which was one of the only ones that are that was released by Universal instead of MGM. I have Raising Cain, The River Wild, Return of the Living Dead. Contrary to popular belief, I actually didn't really care for this movie. I, I don't know why, but I just didn't. Then I have Remember the Titans, which is an awesome movie. Roadhouse biggest guilty pleasure I'd say for me probably has to be one of my favorite movies this is this is just great like this is like the most 80s late 80s movie I've ever seen like this is just awesome if you want to see Patrick Swayze punching people and kicking people and then even in some instances ripping their throat out then you know you gotta watch Roadhouse <laughs> it's great just his glorious hair in that movie as well then we have Rapid Fire and this is kind of getting a little tough to pull out. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, with Kevin Costner's really bad accent. Robin Hood, Men of Tight. Robin Hood, Men in Tight. Sorry, not Men of Tights. Reindeer Games, Red Eye, Ricochet, which is actually a really underrated movie. Not a lot of people have seen that one, but I really love that movie. The Chronicles of Riddick, the unrated director's cut. So I do have Pitch Black up there. And here is the Chronicles of Riddick. So this one runs... I think like 15 minutes longer than the theatrical one does. I'll just leave that out because I can't get it back in. Rain Over Me. Running Scared. This is the Gregory Hines and Billy Crystal version. I do have the Paul Walker one on Blu-ray. Rockstar. Another underrated movie. Just if you want to see Mark Wahlberg doing like a cover band and he gets to be part of a real band, then uh, watch that one. Ronin, the collector's edition release. The Rookie, Revenge of the Pink Panther, and then we get into the Rambo ones here. We have First Blood, which is an awesome movie. And then the other ones are not that great, so we have Rambo First Blood Part 2, and then we have Rambo 3. I do have uh, Rambo and then Rambo Last Blood on Blu-ray. The Road Warrior, Reanimator. This is the Horror Legacy series, but it is a Anchor Bay release. Reality Bites. Romeo is Bleeding, The Relic, and finally for the shelf we have Red Sparrow. And now we will go down here to these three shelves right after this. Alright, this video is getting a little long here, so I'm just going to try and maybe speed this up a little bit. So the things I've displayed, one of my prized possessions here, this is my Song of the South DVD. I bought this at the Pop Culture Fair last year, I knew I had to get it because uh, it's Song of the South, and it's never been released here officially. It's probably one of my only bootlegs in my collection. I just figured I had to get it because it's Song of the South, and it's just a super rare movie. So just put that up there. And then I have the Extended Collector's Edition of Avatar here, which is three discs. It's got, I think, like three different versions of the movie. You have the original version, special edition re-release, and a three-hour collector's extended cut, and I do have this on 3D Blu-ray. So, I got that there as well. 
So now we will go down here. I think I might just point these out unless if there's something that there's, that's worth talking about. So we have The Right Stuff, Reno 911, uh, Miami, the movie, Rising Sun, Romeo plus Juliet, Rollerball, Rookie of the Year. You get a young Thomas A. Nicholas in that movie. Revenge, Rock of Ages, which is a pretty underrated movie. Ringu, and then we have The Ring, the American one, which has a pretty cool looking slipcover there with Samara on that. Then I have The Raid 2, uh, Ready to Rumble, Run Fat Boy Run, Red Sonya, The Replacements, Remo Williams, The Adventure Begins, Rain Man, one of my only MGM snapper cases. Running on MT, Riding the Bullet. I have two more Reservoir Dogs DVDs. So I have the Mr. Mr. White one, and then I have the Mr. Blonde one. Rudy, Red Corner, Red Dragon, the Director's Edition, which has two discs in there. So there is that one. The Rage Carry 2, Red Dawn, Ride Along, Ride Along 2. Rules of Engagement, Roller Coaster, The Ruins, Unrated, Ruthless People, Rush Hour, Rush Hour 2, Rush Hour 3, The Shadow, Shocker, which is a really underrated Wes Craven movie that nobody really talks about at all, but it's a pretty fun movie there. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, The Simpsons Movie, A Shot in the Dark, Shooter, Super Troopers, Stir of Echoes, Son of the Pink Panther, Speedway, Sleepless, or actually Speedway is a, that's an Elvis movie right there. Sleepless in Seattle, Sea Spot Run, Stakeout, and then finally Son-in-Law. And if we go down here, there's more stuff to show. I have the Legacy series release of To Kill a Mockingbird, which replaced my old DVD of that one. And then I have the 30th Anniversary Special Collector's Edition release of Saturday Night Fever, which has like a clear slipcover and uh, like a big huge like disco ball behind John Travolta there. So now we'll just keep pointing these out. We have The Sum of All Fears, Strange Days, which might be out of print. I can't, I don't know. Sorry, I don't think it is. Uh, Surrogates, <clears throat> The Secret of My Success, A Stranger is Watching, which is kind of an oddball one there. Sleepers, Sleepy Hollow, Scarface. This one is the original uh, 1932 version. Then we have the 1983 Scarface one, the two disc anniversary edition with the really shiny slipcover. Then I have The Shining, Speechless, Stay Alive, which is the extended director's cut of that one. The Scout, Silent Fall, The Shawshank Redemption, the two-disc special edition. She's Having a Baby, Scrooged, Stronger, Set It Off, Signs, which is another Vista series release. Singing in the Rain, The Sandlot, The Santa Claus, which is the special edition release with the really shiny cover. The Santa Claus 2, I, don't, uh, I do not have Santa Claus 3, The Escape Clause. Slackers, Sons of the Lambs, the collector's edition, and I've gone through, I don't know how many copies of this movie. It's just, <laughs> you know, like, I kept getting, like, a full screen version of the movie, and then I finally get a widescreen one. So there is that. Save the Tiger with Jack Lemmon, Santa Claus the Movie, which is an Anchor Bay release, and it's got, like, a shiny cover and a whole bunch of special features on it. Then we have Swimming with Sharks, the special edition. Superman the Movie, Superman 2, I Don't Have 3 or 4, The Quest for Peace, Shanghai Noon, Shanghai Nights, The Strangers Unrated, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, really feel-good movie, I highly recommend watching that one, Spaceballs, Strange Brew, Space Cowboys, The Siege, The Score, Split, Spider-Man, just the regular release of that one, and then I do have the Superbit release which has like no special features, and then I have these only the super bit release of Spider-Man 2. I have Spider-Man 3 on Steelbook, you will be seeing that in, of course, my Steelbook collection. Secret Window, Soylent Green, The Serpents and the Rainbow, Sudden Impact, another Dirty Harry one, Snake Eyes, and Silver Streak. And if we move down here, here's another criterion that I have, Akira Kurosawa, Kurosawa's Seven Samurai. It's really plain, it's nothing really too special, but I'm just happy to have that in my collection. And then I have a T2, the Ultimate Edition DVD, which has a whole bunch of bonus features on there. It is, of course, my favorite movie, so I kind of have to have that one. 
<clears throat> and then down here I have some kind of wonderful. And now we will get on to the Saw movies. So I have Saw 1 here, which is just the regular version. And then I have the uncut edition of the same movie with the Saw floating in the water there. Then I have the regular version of Saw 2. Then I have the special edition of Saw 2, which has like the lenticular slipcover with the x-ray on it. I only have the uncut edition of Saw 3 and the director's cut of Saw 3. I only have the uncut edition, of, or no, no, sorry, this is the, the theatrical version of Saw 4. I have the unrated Saw 5 and I have the uncut Saw 6. I don't have the theatrical versions of any of those. And then I do have the final chapter on Blu-ray and I don't have Jigsaw. So there's that one. Silver Bullet, Snatch, the Superbit version, or Superbit Deluxe actually. Then I have Skin Deep, which is a really super hard to find movie. Shaft, Shaft's big score. I don't have Shaft in Africa, but I do have the Samuel L. Jackson Shaft. And I don't have like the brand new Shaft that came out last year. That was not really that great. Shock Treatment, the 25th anniversary edition. That is one that you like never see. The Skulls, Sun Like It Hot, Sabrina, Searching, South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, Save the Last Dance, the special collector's edition of that one, Showdown in Little Tokyo, See No Evil, Hear No Evil, Spies Like Us, 16 Candles, the flashback edition right there, Stroker Ace, Step Brothers, the two disc unrated version, Something Wild, Safe, Sneakers, A Simple Plan, uh, Slapshot, Sharky's Machine, Switch, Soul Man, I got the Anchor Bay release of that one. Source Code, Silverado, Sinister, Spy, Slumdog Millionaire, Switchback, Showgirls, you never see Showgirls anywhere. Yeah, that is supposed to be a horrible movie, but I have a copy of Showgirls in my collection. Not very many people can say that, I guess. Short Circuit, Short Circuit 2, Shredder, Superstar, Stir Crazy, The Stupids, and then finally we have Summer School, which is a really just feel-good 80s comedy. So that is it for shelf number two, so let's move on to the final shelf of my DVD collection. Okay, let's get this over and done with here. So the first couple little trinkets I have on my shelf here is this little, like, Scream Ghostface little candle holder. It's like a really super tiny candle that I can hold, but it's just a really kind of neat little piece that I have here because I like horror movies and Scream I really love, so there's that. And then I have yet another Iron Man figure. This one's just like a little tiny one. So I'll just move him and move this guy here. So now we will show you guys the last shelf of all my DVDs here. So, I'll just take one out here so this is a little bit easier to show. We have The Sure Thing, the special edition release. Just put that over here. I've got Sniper, Sleepwalkers, Snakes on a Plane. You gotta love Snakes on a Plane, man. State of Grace, Spy Game, So I Married an Axe Murderer, St. Elmo's Fire, Cheech and Chong Still Smoking. Uh, the Sound of Music, the 40th Anniversary Edition, which has a whole swack of bonus features on there. Gotta get that release of it. We have Singles, Stepmom, Stay Tuned, John Ritter, Spartacus, Sphere, Stand By Me, Say Anything, State of Play, and then we have Silent Hill, The Spy Who Loved Me, Soldier, Starship Troopers, the Super Bit release. And we go on to the Star Trek and Star Wars movies. So we have Star Trek The Motion Picture, the Director's Edition. Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. I do not have the uh, Collector's Edition of that one yet. Star Trek III, The Search for Spock. Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. Once again, do not have the Collector's Edition of that one. Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country. Or... Yeah, country, I was going to say county. Star Trek Generations, and then these two I did not have the collector's editions for, but Star Trek First Contact, Star Trek Insurrection, and then finally Star Trek Nemesis. And now we move on to some of the Star Wars movies. We have The Phantom Menace, we have Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, so we have the three prequels there, which are not that great. Then we have the Star Wars original trilogy here, so we have A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi there. 
that has these are the 2006 releases that have both versions of the movie so they have the special editions and they have the theatrical cuts on there so that is the only way to get those unless you got the the specialized editions and you have to torrent those then we have tales from the hood which is an hbo home video release that one's out of print still i think and then down here for the shelf we have seven the new line platinum series release and then I have another Spider-Man figure here. This is a Raimi Spider-Man. So there's that. And now I will show you guys the next shelf. And then I'll just pause so I can do these other shelves here. So for the first one here, Tombstone, the Vista series release. Also the director's cut. I'll just put that aside for a second. Tommy Boy, the Holy Schneike edition. Trouble with the Curve. Taking Care of Business. You know, he looks pretty giant on top of that car. Uh, James Will or Tim Belushi there. The Truman Show. The Fan Red Line. Thunderball. Tucker, The Man in His Dream, which is a really, like, underrated movie. And then we have Top Gun. Really excited for Top Gun Maverick to come out, hopefully in June. This is the Special Collector's Edition release, which has a whole bunch of bonus features on there. Tomorrow Never Dies. 13 Ghosts. Tank Girl. With Laurie Petty and Ice T, of course. The Terminator, the special edition, it's a, with a really neat looking cover there. Then I have the Extreme DVD of Terminator 2. Unfortunately, I just have the cardboard slip covers for both of those. I don't have the metal ones. Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, A Time to Kill, Toy Soldiers, Tales from the Dark Side, the movie. And the only Turtles one I have here is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze. I do not have the first one or Turtles in Time. But I do have the Michael Bay Turtles on Blu-ray on 3D. That Thing You Do, Tom Hanks' Extended Cut, which is a really awesome movie. There's something about Mary, or as they call it on this release, there's something more about Mary. It's just a two-disc release. Uh, it's got the original theatrical version, plus it's got the extended version with 15 minutes of footage. So there is that, and plus a whole bunch of bonus features on there as well. There will be Blood, the two-disc collector's edition, which comes in like these like cardboard sleeves. We got Tappin, Trading Places, <clears throat> Top Secret, Trapped in Paradise with the Cage Man, John Levitz, and Dana Carvey. Then we have Toys, which I think is still out of print. This is Spinal Tap. You got to have that one in your collection. Tequila Sunrise. You gotta have They Live, some more John Carpenter goodness. Tango and Cash. Thinner. 13 Days. Tai Chi Master, which is number 30 of the Dragon Dynasty line. True Lies, which still needs a Blu ray release. I really want that to get a Blu ray release. Then we have Tears of the Sun. Thelma and Louise, the special edition. Teledega Nights, the Ballad of Ricky Bobby, the unrated and uncut version. Timeline. Three Migos, another HBO release, and then we have Throw Mama from the Train, that is the last one on the shelf. So now we will move down to the last three shelves of my collection. Okay, the last three shelves of my DVD collection. So, the last two things I have to show you guys that are on display, I have the Seabiscuit two disc ultimate gift set which has all this stuff in here it's got like a film cell it's got like a couple booklets and everything it's a really nice looking set here and also like this plastic case that's included as well so I'll put that aside and then i have the 20th anniversary limited edition of schindler's list which has the movie on two discs plus just like a couple of special features on here really nice looking set for an absolutely incredible movie and now if we go down here, I have uh, Three Men and a Baby, Tremors, I don't have any of the other Tremors movies because I heard they're supposed to suck, but Tremors is a pretty good movie. Then I have the Three Musketeers, the Disney version, Thunderbolts and Lightfoot, Tootsie, the 25th Anniversary Edition, Trick or Treat, To Die For, The Towering Inferno, uh, True Stories, The Transporter, the Special Delivery Edition. The Transporter 2, Transporter 3, once again, another case of studios owning different movies. First two are by Fox, the last one is from Lionsgate. Tower Heist, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, the Gruesome Edition. Turner and Hooch, 
Twilight Zone the movie, Texas Chainsaw Massacre the remake, I do have the original one on a steelbook, and it's this really nice looking deluxe edition. Then I have the prequel to that, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre the beginning, the unrated version. Then I have Tron, the 20th Anniversary Collector's Edition. I need to get a new copy of that because it's missing the booklet and like the discs are kind of scratched. True Crime, Jet Li's Twin Warriors, United 93, Uncle Buck, Unbreakable, the Vista series release. Most of those, as you can probably tell, are for M. Night Shyamalan's releases. Under Siege, Under Siege 2, Dark Territory, UHF. Of course, Weird Al's movie, Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke, U571, Unlawful Entry, U.S. Marshals, kind of the sequel to The Fugitive, um, Unseen Parts, Used Cars, Under the Cherry Moon, that's the last of the Prince movies, I do not have Sign of the Times, which is a documentary, then I have the super bit release of Underworld, Underworld, uh, Rise of the Lycans, I do not have Underworld Evolution, Underworld Awakening, and I do have Blood Wars on Blu-ray. Universal Soldier, the Special Edition, and finally for the shelf we have the Usual Suspects. So now if we go down here to the last couple of shelves for my collection, I'll just take one out here. We have uh, Urban Cowboy, Valentine, Varsity Blues, A View to a Kill, Viva Las Vegas, Virtuosity, Vice versa, this was the other one I was talking about when I showed like Father Like Son, kind of these like body switching movies, and then plus I guess 18 again too. Uh, Vampires, directed by John Carpenter and starring James Woods. Vegas Vacation, with uh, that's a really weird looking cover there. Then I have Victory, which is a movie I never really cared for. V for Vendetta, the two disc limited edition set, so it has like a lenticular slipcover. Plus, it's got, like, the graphic novel in there, so that's really cool. Then I have Vision Quest, Virus, What Lies Beneath, What Women Want, What About Bob, Walking Tall, Weekend at Bernie's, I do not have Weekend at Bernie's 2, The Watcher, Wild Bill, White Chicks, the unrated version, one of my guilty pleasures, White Sands, What Dreams May Come, War Dogs, Weird Science, the Flashback Edition, We Are Marshall, Whiplash, one of my favorite movies, and probably one of the best movies of the last decade. That was an incredible movie. Then I have White Boy Rick, With Honors, Watership Down, the Deluxe Edition, The Watcher in the Woods, We're the Millers, the Extended Cut, uh, if I can get it out here, We're Eagles Dare, Walk the Line, the two-disc DVD collector's edition, The Wedding Singer, We Bought a Zoo, The Witches of Eastwick, Wayne's World, Wayne's World 2, Wall Street, and finally we have Wind Talkers. So now if we go down here, this is the very last shelf, and I'm sure you've seen this shelf many times when I was doing my unboxings and that. But we have uh, Wrong Turn, Wrong Turn 2, Dead End, the unrated version. Wrong Turn 3, Left 4 Dead, unrated. Wrong Turn 4, Bloody Beginnings, unrated. And then we have Wrong Turn 6, Last Resort, unrated. I don't have Wrong Turn 5. Then we have The Warriors. This is the rare and out of print original theatrical release. The one that you probably see most often is most likely the like the newer version that has like these comic booky transitions. Then we have Wanted, Way of the Gun, uh, War Games. The War of the Roses, Jackie Chan's Who Am I, Where No Angels, White Men Can't Jump, Willow, which used to be out of print, but they've re-released it now. And we have Wedding Crashers, Who's Harry Crumb, War Horse, What's the Worst That Could Happen, White Squall, We Were Soldiers, just gonna move back a little bit here, we have W, Without Limits, Wide Earp, Witness, The World Is Not Enough, The Woman in Black, The Wild Bunch, the two-disc special edition, also including the original director's cut on here as well. We have Wrongfully Accused, The Wolfman, which is my last 
glow in the dark slip cover I have to show you guys. I never got the one for the mummy. Triple X, the uncensored, unrated director's cut, and then just for comparison, I have the theatrical cut on the Super Bit release. The X Files Fight the Future. I have I Want to Believe on Steelbook. Young Blood. You've Got Mail, the deluxe edition. Yellow Beard with uh, Cheech and Chong are in this one. Uh, Year of the Dragon. Young Guns. We only have a couple more. Young Guns 2. You Only Live Twice. And finally, we have Zero Dark 30. All right, guys, that is about it for this colossal collection. This is probably going to be, if I edit this video into one, it'll be probably my longest video on this channel yet. Uh, <laughs> we have finally completed my DVD collection. Yay, that was probably the hardest one to get through. So anyway, though, guys, that is about it for this video. And if I edit these two videos together, this video. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Instagram and Twitter links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Also, be sure to check out my IMDb profile page. The link for that will also be down below in the description of this video as well to check out what I've been watching recently. Also, if you're new to my channel or if you're already subscri subscribed, be sure to click the bell to be notified of future videos. A new video every Tuesday and Friday. So anyway, though, guys, that is about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.